Heelys. So today I am on my way to Frontier Harley Davidson to get a part to fix something that has been driving me nuts on this bike for a long time. Um, but I won't be able to fix it today because I need to wait for a tool to install it. So that will have to happen another time. But um, I have this rare Saturday off in uh, the middle of harvest because believe it or not our beans are not ready yet but I will try to bring you guys a little bit of a harvest video like I do every year uh, so that brings me to why we haven't put a video out for so long and that is because of life <laughs> but a lot of it's because harvest started and I mean a lot of times once harvest starts if it's, a, if it's a good year, it lasts all the way into late fall when it's really cold out. A lot of times my, my riding season is over when harvest starts. But I'm going to answer some questions that I get asked all the time about this 2016 Road King that I ride. And the reason that I ride a Road King is because I've said it in the past. I want a touring bike, but I do not want a fairing. And with the ability to put the windshield on this bike and take the windshield off, uh, this is the perfect bike for me. As everybody knows, the road glide fairing is attached to the frame, and the street glide fairing is attached to the handlebars. Not the handlebars, but the front end. Turns with the front end. Where with the with the Road King, I get the best of both worlds because I have a cruiser style bike with the touring frame, which makes the bike a little bit heavier and manages the wind better. And if you put the correct suspension on it, there is no equal to its ride. And I happen to have the correct suspension on this bike. I have the Legends uh, front drop-in fork suspension and I have the Legends rear shocks and that made the biggest difference in the world on this bike in past I've had a, I had an 06 Ultra that I did motor work to and I did handlebars and I did so much stuff to it to try to make it better and little did I know if I would have just done suspension work that bike would have been awesome one of the questions I get asked all the time about this Road King is what handlebars do I have? I have the Wild One Chubby 16 inch handlebars. But I had this same setup on it and when I bought this bike um, I wanted another Road King because I wanted this back. I didn't like the fairing in front of me. And so I was hunting for a Road King, and the salesman at Frontier at the time called me and said, Hey, I just got this really cool bike in on trade. You should come look at it. And I would say 75% of the things that are done to this bike have already been done. Um, I consider the really important things that were already done. The, the handlebars were already done. The chrome front end was already on it and it already had custom wheels which custom wheels is not something that i've ever done to a bike but now that i've had them on here i really really enjoy them because i just you know there's there's no other bike like this one another thing i get asked which i have already answered is i have legend suspension i think maybe pretty soon we just need to go through a nose to tail rundown on this bike again i've done it before but new subscribers come and you know they you know they don't they don't know about that video and it's always a fun video to make anyway because sometimes i i shock myself with oh yeah i forgot i did this and i forgot i did that so suspension and seat i think are some of the most important things you can do and handlebars you got to get your handlebars where you need them to make you comfortable so nothing falls asleep not only just that nothing falls asleep, but so that you can ride for long periods of time. Unless that's not your intention, and then by all means, just put the coolest handlebars you can find on it, make it look totally rad, and then who cares how it feels. I've maybe done that before.
Well, you can definitely tell falls here. Trees are changing. Grass is getting brown. Another thing I get asked a lot is which headlights I went with. I went with the Hogworks 7 inch headlight with the matching passing lamps with the halos. And that makes a whole world of difference also if you're running the old halogen bulb. That LED makes a big difference. Another thing I get asked a lot is that this is cosmic blue paint. Um, it is a factory color. Uh, I, I do have the I do have the Advan Black heat shields that are painted to match. I actually have Advan Black saddlebag lids also because my other ones got all scratched up. And I also have an Advan Black wraparound front fender, which I'll show you guys all this stuff here in a little bit maybe. But we will have some, some videos coming uh, eventually, <laughs> whenever I get time. We, uh, we went to the Black Hills with Kelly and Steph. Finally got to go see Devil's Tower for the first time. That video, video, videos, whatever it's going to be, um, should come before too long. Sometime this winter, hopefully. Um, I have some other footage too, but been really trying to figure out how to match my videos with uh, with the Senna 50C because I use the Senna 50C now to get my audio. It's not as good, but it's 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 good enough to. I shouldn't say that. The audio coming from the people that I'm writing with, hundred times better than what it was. My video, my audio, is a little bit lacking, but um, I'm playing with the settings and stuff, and I should be able to make it better. But sometimes uh, the Cine 50C, I push the wrong button and it doesn't record or it doesn't save what it recorded. Matching the audio is actually pretty easy. Um, making sure that I recorded and pushed and, went and did the right procedures to save the recordings, that's the part that I struggle with. It's all new, you know, and really, why? It's all new to me, and once I get it down, I should be all right with it. One thing about the Senna 50C, though, and I hopefully will do a video on the Senna 50C in, on its own uh, sooner or later. Um, otherwise, Salty and Sprinkles, they have a video on the Senna 50C. Uh, I think uh, Sprinkles got one. And um, the microphone is so much better that the Harman Carmen microphone is extremely better and it just blows everything out of the water like sound wise like overpowering we're also coming up on 4,000 subscribers too that's insane to me absolutely insane never in my wildest dreams would I have ever dreamt that we would have 4,000 subscribers but and we're getting there. We're like 250 subscribers away. And you got new little scooters downtown. You used to have black ones. Those are way cooler. We're going to have to come down here and take those for a ride. We filmed a video doing those, riding those one time, Amy and I did. Um, and uh, it was not good, but now I know how to do it to make it better, so I'll have to come down here and do that sometime. All right, so we'll hurry up and get up here to Frontier Harley Davidson, and hopefully the DJI Action 2 camera on the front of the helmet is recording, and hopefully I go through the right process to keep the center recording, 
and then hopefully this will all come together like it's supposed to. Did you really have to ride my ass like that, buddy? There's another lane. You could use it. Ah, oh, we wonder why there's so many accidents now. Well aware. This is not a parking spot. Uh, but I'm going to use it anyway. Alright, be back with you guys in just a minute. Spraying the weeds on the sandbars out there. Hopefully he's done now so we can get this done. So, when I left you, I was at Frontier Harley-Davidson. I was getting some parts for the bike. Gonna show you that in a little bit, but I gotta wait until I get, now you can see me. I gotta wait until I get the, the tool to install the part. So we are going to go through the Road King and everything that is on it that is not come on it stock. Hopefully that's better, we're down to one microphone. Took the, the camera off the screen mod. But, so we're gonna go through the, as soon as people quit driving by, this should work out all right. So we're gonna start out at the front, like we always do. Uh, these are custom wheels from Harley Davidson. I cannot tell you which ones they are, but I can tell you that they don't come on at stock. How about that? And they are dirty. My goodness, Josh. You suck at this. You need to clean this bike up. Um, we also have the chrome front forks that do have Legends drop-in suspension on it. The Revo suspension. Of course, you have chrome axle nut covers. That does not come stock, believe it or not. We have an Avan Black wraparound front fender. Um, with the chrome Advan Black spacers. Moving up, we have the Harley-Davidson LED blinkers. Up from there we have the Hogwarts LED passing lamps with halos and headlight with halos with a halo. I have the French covers on the headlight and the passing lamps. We have 16 inch Wild One Chubbies inch and a quarter handlebars. Uh, I believe this is a streamline collection all the way through the bike. We have the streamline grips we have the streamline mirrors we have chrome master cylinder we have the chrome clamp also and we have the chrome switch housings with switches um it's also on the other side we have the chrome the chrome clutch clamp hopefully this wind is not gonna mess us up any um let's see moving down i have the front wind deflector i put this on because people were asking about it that's like a 16 dollar deal on amazon i don't even know if it makes a difference i can't tell you i really couldn't tell you more streamline um collection the front highway pegs the brake the floorboards i do have the passenger floorboards at home um and the other side has the shifter pegs as well Okay, the Screaming Eagle air cleaner. I don't know which one this is either. I don't, but it's a K&N fil air filter. Uh, does not come stock, obviously. I have the, Ru the Rush Racing um, Economy head pipe, which gets rid of the catalytic converter, but you use your existing, your stock heat shields so that it's a little bit cheaper that way. I have the Avvan Black uh, heat deflectors, mid-frame heat deflectors also. Let's see, and then I also have the custom, not custom, but the after one of the Harley speedometers that gives me an analog, analog, it gives me an analog um, tachometer. 
and it also allows me to change any of the colors that I want. It is awesome. I should probably show you guys the headlights too. I didn't even think about that. Headlights and the blinkers. Okay, moving on from there, I have the Lucky Dave's Get Lucky seat. Now, the this difference between this and a Saddleman step-up seat is that the passenger seat is a little bit wider and it also has the same memory foam as the rider seat. Um, I love this seat. This seat is fantastic. It's a little bit firmer, so it's awesome there. And it gives me enough back support where with no windshield, I don't slide off the back. Let's see. There is the custom matching custom matching rear wheel which is also really dirty now that I see that that's makes me really happy I have the screaming eagle slip on mufflers they don't make these anymore but they should because they have a really really good deep tone to them and I really like them a lot um so up here we have the Advan black saddlebag lids uh, the only difference is that you can feel on the lip down here it feels different this is like a sharper lip than the stock ones were but no scratches so that makes a huge difference i have red uh saddlebag latch saddlebag latches um i mean that's not i didn't have to have them but i thought it looked cool like a ejection seat or something because i'm weird okay i also have the sissy bar i took the backrest off so i can add a bigger bag back but right now I kind of use it just to put my my helmet on um I have the detachable kit thingy that makes this you can put a CC bar and, and uh, um, a luggage rack on I can use a CC bar and the luggage rack at the same time use utilizes two different things and I put these chrome covers on from Amazon the chrome saddlebag filler strips I have those uh, I like these because I didn't want lights in them because I I like the the bone tail light or whatever so I'm gonna keep that uh, these are also the LED blinkers back here these are red because they're also brake lights and then I have the the LED tail light and I have the curved um, Harley Davidson ah, this is all dirty too I need to do a better job at this I need a lift and put it on the lift and do it um the the this thing license plate holder there we go <laughs> yeah so inside the saddlebag i have um the amazon pocket thingies which yeah you can have them or you can't have them whatever i also put in this plastic velcro strip for my um, portable battery so that I can have a battery pack in there charging stuff when I want to have stuff charged and let's see coming around this side of the bike um, that's different oh I did switch out my passenger floorboards to these uh, I had a buddy with a screaming eagle or a screaming eagle, uh, with a CBO street glide and he put the 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 passenger floorboards on for his wife and then he gave me these because if you don't need them if you don't need the floorboards it's a lot easier to move the bike around especially with little short legs like me and I have the Ciro 3D uh, great big big ass I think they call it um, cup holder man I can't think today and then I have the quad mount phone mount I like that better than the Ciro 3d mount that I had and that should be about it there's obviously a tuner there's a tuner in there and stuff like that too but uh, yeah so that's uh no oh, and then which I would not have done it but whoever had it before me I'm just pushing my diet coke around whoever had it before me took off the saddle bag crash bars or whatever and they put the short bar on which I'm gonna get a chrome one of those 
I found them on found them on Amazon fairly fairly cheap so I'll switch that out it's just a maybe a six inch bar that's got a curve in it is all it is so yeah so that that is the road king in a nutshell and everything that's been done to it look at this cat out here just that kid's cool yeah that, that's about that's about it for the road king i think um i'm gonna hang out here for just a minute and then we'll get back out on the road and we'll close out the video Oh, one thing to uh, to note that uh, I could not show you because it's not on the bike is I have a Long Ride Shields 18-inch clear windshield with a recurve on the top uh, for this bike also. That was not factory. I'm going to stop and put my coat on. So with it starting to cool off and everything, um, we will do a video a little later on about the, the clothing that we wear to stay warm in the winter months. Because we can ride as long as we don't get a lot of snow, which it's hit and miss how much snow we get here in Nebraska. Last year was not bad at all. This year they're saying it won't be as bad, but it's supposed to be really cold. Um, but we will do a video on the, the stuff that we wear to stay warm. We do have heated gear. Um, that makes a huge difference. I was able to ride this bike last year, actually, to get the Legend suspension installed at my buddy's house. It was 20 degrees out. On the way home, it was supposed to get like 40, but it never did. But I had my hot water heater gloves. I had everything but the heated socks or the heated shoe liners. And actually, my feet never got cold. Um, I don't know. Maybe it was just because I kept my core nice and warm or what. But like I said, everybody, we're going to try to... Uh, we're going to do our best to get back with the, with the, the, the content. You know what I mean? We're going to do what we can. Um, harvest is over, it will be easier, but when harvest is over, um, riding is more scarce. Anyway, if you guys like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next. And until next time, everybody stay cool, and we will see you on the road.